In any given week, around 85 women give birth on the Princess Alexandra maternity unit. Some women start out on the antenatal ward, where they wait until their labour has progressed. <sighs> I think it moved. 33-year-old Tamina is 10 days overdue with her first child, a daughter. She's been induced and has been on the antenatal ward for over 24 hours with her husband, Saeed. We got married last year. There are only three women in my life, my mom, my wife and my child, baby girl. I got some of her toys ready at home already. And I looked even this more afternoon when I went home, I was just setting them in the line. <laughs> So I'm just going to feel your tummy and put yeah. you on the monitor for it. I've got cold hands, so yeah. I do apologise. No I've got a knee or something. <laughs> Tamina is an accountant, and Saeed works at the hospital as a doctor in the A&E department. Most of the people knows me because I've been working here for a few years now. I've been from the canteen. I, I was there in the morning. And they're like, how is the baby? How, is the baby coming out yet? Which is exciting on one side, on the other side, this labour is going on for quite a while. Although Tamina is having regular contractions, her labour hasn't progressed. So she's being moved to the labour ward, where she could be closely monitored. For contraction, use your gas. Are you happy if I examine you now? See if we've made any progress from, from breaking your waters. Tamina's being looked after by 23-year-old Zoe, who qualified as a midwife just 18 months ago. When I was 11, my mum had a baby, and from then I sort of said that that's what I was going to do. I was going to be a midwife, didn't know what it was until I got on placement, um, and thank goodness I loved it. Just the same as last time, so you're feeling me touch, cold jelly, lots of pressure, OK? Tell me if you want me to stop at any point. It is like a big family. Everyone is so caring and friendly and supportive, and I think it makes such a difference to, the, to coming to work. It makes it, you look forward to coming to work. Use your gas now, so it's a bit more comfortable. Well done. Just take some nice deep breaths for me. Well done. On examination, Zoe is concerned with the baby's position. I'm not certain what part of baby I'm definitely feeling. I know they scanned and they said baby's head's down, but I'm not sure if baby's slightly wonky and we can feel an ear or slightly that way and we can feel this part of baby's head, OK? So I'm just going to speak to the doctor. Yeah. Is that OK? I won't be long. Yeah. You're all right. Zoe calls the consultant for a second opinion. But as a doctor, Dad Saeed is well aware of the potential dangers. Normally the baby shows that vertex. Yeah. Yeah. Now they're doing no good. When it comes out, it needs to be the vertex. It's now down to consultant Dr. L. Sandabisi to decide whether it's safe for Tamina to deliver her baby vaginally. Okay, so the examination shows that the baby's position is, is a non-deliverable presentation. So it means that we cannot deliver you vaginally. It will have to be a cesarean section. Okay, we'll get things going for you as soon as possible now. After almost two days of labor, Tamina needs to be taken to theater to have her baby by emergency caesarean section. Your hand feel alright? Yeah. That's okay, that's okay. Feel cold or? No, it's fine. You're going to feel a bit of tugging, pushing and pulling now. It shouldn't hurt, it just feels weird. If it does hurt, let me know, okay? Once the surgeon reaches the uterus, they have just 12 minutes to deliver the baby safely. But there's a complication. Difficult extraction. Is it? Okay. Yeah. The baby has moved into a sideways position, making it difficult to be manoeuvred out of the uterus. 
It's a hand. It's a hand. A dangerous occurrence only seen in one in 300 cases. Two minutes on, the situation has become life-threatening for the baby. What do you want? Uh, consultant. consultant. Yeah. Just called our consultant. <laughs> Haley, get a pair of ga a gown and gloves ready for him. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want, a knife? Knife, you mean? The baby has unexpectedly moved into a sideways position and is stuck in the uterus. Midwife Zoe has called the consultant obstetrician. He's here. And it's now down to him to help save the baby's life. He's coming, he's coming. We see emergencies a lot. Sometimes there's ways around it, so there's other things that we can do, but when it's a situation that the team haven't seen before or can't deal with alone, that's when we call the most senior doctor on shift. In some situations, that, that is our only option. In the case of a sideways presentation, the consultant needs to locate the feet and bring the baby out backwards. Excuse me. 45 seconds later, a baby girl is finally born. But she's unresponsive. The baby is not breathing, so the emergency team have been called. What time is delivery? First gas for 49 seconds, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Check the heart rate again, please. Yep. Check the heart rate again, please. Yep. Check the heart rate again, please. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. The team start immediate resuscitation on the baby. More than 100. More than 100. Yes, more than 100. After three minutes of respiratory support, the baby is breathing on her own. Wow. I think he was trying to cry before as well. Yeah, he was trying, but yeah. Congratulations, by the way. You did very well. It's midwife Zoe's job to introduce the baby to her parents. Do you want to meet your baby girl? <laughs> She's absolutely fine. She was just very shocked. <laughs> Those three minutes were like three years to me. I was just looking at the clock, like going tick, 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 and then suddenly a cry. There's a noise coming from the heaven. <laughs> Whilst Tamina remains in theatre to be stitched up, Dad Saeed spends some time with his daughter. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> Hi. I used to think I'm a, I got a strong nerve, but I, I was wrong. Happy, <laughs> excited. <laughs>